Hello, it's me. Um, so lots of stuff has happened in Wild Horse Islands recently. Um, so I wish I would have recorded yesterday when all this stuff was happening. Um, it was really late at night and I had gotten off work and then I decided to play some Wild Horse Islands. And I ended up getting a bunch of cool stuff by server hopping and just like trying to see what people had for sale in their market. Um, so basically, yesterday I got my coins all the way up to 80,000. Don't ask me how, like I just catch horses and stuff and then sell them. So I saw this. This is an infernal horse. And it was for sale at somebody's market stand like this for 45,000 coins. So I spent a lot of my coins. And then um, today I was kind of working on getting my coins back up. But yeah, the Infernal Horse is extremely rare and hard to get because you can only get it on Vol Volcano Island. And... It can actually go into the lava on Volcano Island. So well, let's go take a look. So once you unlock Volcano Island, it's here. It costs you 265 tokens just to go there. So make the best of your time there. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, so before when I was playing this game, I would come to this island and jump in the lava and or I would try to jump like that and I would fall into the lava and me and my horse would just get sent right back to the beginning but as you can see this horse will just swim in the lava because it's an infernal horse so see that how the volcano just erupted like that like it will spit out these um, eruption deposits and then you can go harvest the volcanic minerals and sometimes it not only has volcanic minerals but it has prismatic gems and color changing shards which can only be found on this island and they're very rare and people pay a lot of money for them because um, it takes a long time to level up to get to this island um, so not everyone is at that level so they're willing to pay their coins for your prismatic char um, prismatic gems. So here's one. This is just a normal prismatic gem uh, crystal. So you harvest it and it'll give you oops, these or these. So this is what I look for when I'm here mostly is these. The erupted deposits um you really have to like wait until the ground starts shaking and then look up at the mountain and see if it spits one out and if it does you kind of have to follow it with your eyes and see like what side of the mountain it's going to fall on um and then basically just chase it around the mountain and harvest it with your little harvester see how the everything's shaking i'm gonna look up now Nope, just lava. It will be like a huge ball of like this rock, lava rock looking stuff. Those are crystal geysers over there. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to run around and play for a little bit. I'll let you guys watch to see what I'm doing. If I have some commentary, then I will comment. Okay, right here you can see that I have something for sale at my market for my Andalusian horse. Um, I was selling the horse for 2000 minimum, 2500 um, buy now, so I can accept this person's bid and I'll make 1970 tokens from selling that horse. I already have two others, so I'm going to click yes and 
that's kind of another really good way to make money, but you have to upgrade your market, which I'll go over in a little bit. As you can see, I just caught a black Andalusian horse and up here in the chat, it will say Ashley caught a wild horse on Volcano Island with a rare coat. So that's like, you kind of want to pay attention to that when you're catching horses, because if you don't have that coat, you might not want to sell it. I'm pretty sure I do have that coat. So, oops. Oh my, can't spell. Yeah, let's see, I have one right here. Oh, maybe that's this guy. Hold on one second. So I have Midnight. This is a mare. And this is this must be the one that I just caught. Yeah, because this is the stallion. So I have a black Andalusian already. So when I'm going to sell a horse, I just name it this, like hashtags, so that I can <coughs> just look that up when I go to Larry to sell the horse. Okay, so I just saw a deposit erupt and fall out over there. So we're gonna hurry up and get over there. So I can show you what that erupted deposit looks like. Um, this is the dragon's den. <laughs> You can't really do anything over here. It's just kind of like a cool feature. Not that I know of. If anybody knows, like, if there's something special you can do in the Dragon's Den, let me know so that I can get on that. So usually the erupted deposits are going to, like, fall all the way down the mountain and be, like, on this side. Which is why having this infernal horse is kind of, like, really beneficial because... If you're on the other side of the lava, it could take you so long to get across this lava river. And then you could potentially fall in the lava. <laughs> and then it starts you all the way back at the boat where you arrived. So we're looking for this erupted deposit. It's going to be a big ball of this like lava rock looking stuff. Hopefully we can find it. I really like the music. It's just, even when the music is like really low, um, you can't hear what I'm saying. <laughs> so I have it on sometimes and then off other times. All right, my horse needs. canter instead of gallop and I haven't seen this deposit yet um, I wonder if I missed it like sometimes it can land like right on the side of the mountain sometimes it rolls all the way to the other side and I really wasn't looking I'm just looking right here on this little trail as I go and I haven't seen it yet I feel like I'm already on the other side of the mountain but maybe not so let's keep going see right there I would have died and got sent all the way back <laughs> to the beginning by the boat so that's no fun 
Then you got to start your journey over again. Remember where you saw the eruption go and then so on and so forth. Man, I just have not seen this erupted deposit. Where did you go? I've noticed sometimes the erupted deposits also glitch and they get like stuck in the sky. It's really, really weird and random. Okay, can't see any eruption deposits from here, so don't think there was any. Maybe they disappear too, like if you take too long. Yeah, see, I'm already back around by the boat and <laughs> I was already over here, so pretty sure I was either too slow and it disappeared or I am not looking in the right spot. Um, somebody else like made a really good suggestion on one of their YouTube channels about um, like you can go to the top of the volcano and just wait for the eruption and then watch where the deposit goes and follow it really quickly, which is a good strategy. It's just you're going to be sitting there for a while because not every every time the um volcano like erupts it doesn't always put out an erupted deposit so like you might be sitting there for a while before you even see one i'm just thinking maybe it like landed a little higher than i expected it to okay i didn't see one on this side of the mountain for that hmm to see. I'm in a public server so there's probably not that many like prismatic gems laying around and if someone else is on this island they could have already gotten that uh, erupted deposit thing before me so um, if you want to know if someone's on the island with you you can just click this map and there will be another dot and that just symbolizes another person so like see on this global map you can see there's a bunch of people on the mainland right now it looks like i'm the only one on this island so i was probably just sl too slow oh there's another one did you guys see it it went that way okay now we gotta go this way okay hopefully we make it this time dun, 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 dun. the one that i missed okay here's one right here perfect so it looks like Zeus. So it looks different from the rocks that are always in the lava. And it's just like a big ball of lava rock. And what you can do with this is it's going to give me some volcanic minerals and maybe a prismatic gem or a color changing shard if we're lucky. But basically, f you can take five volcanic minerals at a time to burns on the quest map, he's like kind of next to the little volcano places. So um, you can take five volcanic minerals to him at a time and he will give you a chest. Um, you can, so I got nine stones and three volcanic minerals, cool. Um, once you open the chest, it will be something like lava eels or it could be like accessories for your horse that are lava themed. It could be like food for your horse. You just never know what you're going to get for that. <clears throat> and then eventually, after you give him a bunch of volcanic minerals, maybe he'll give you an infernal horse like the one that I'm riding.
right, so here we are at Burns. I'm going to go ahead and give him some of my volcanic minerals, just so you guys can see. So there's a couple options. You do need to do like a lot of tasks for him before you can expect to get a infernal horse in return. I've done a lot of like tasks for him. So um, would you like some of my volcanic minerals? Fine, hand over five of them and I'll see what I've got for trade. Here you go. Okay. Ooh, he gave me hot peppers. Cool. Okay. Let's do another one. Okay, infernal treasure chest. Cool, let's open it up. Red lava eels, so that's gonna be here. So you have some green ones. Oh, I think I put my red ones in storage, so they're not gonna show up right here. Anyways, I have five volcanic minerals left, so I'm gonna go ahead and give those to burns and see what else we can get. Oh, ooh, fire breather. Nice. Oh, how cool. Just like his horse. Yeah, I don't have that yet. So that's really, really cool. Let's give this horse a hot pepper and see if he likes it or she. <laughs> That wasn't her favorite food, but it definitely jumped up our relationship by like 20. So like stuff like this, that's like special, I'm gonna put in my locker so that I don't accidentally like use it, which I'll show you how to do that too. Anyways, um, there's lots of stuff to do here. You can do tasks for burns, you could chase volcanic minerals, you can hunt for those prismatic gems and shards. Um, so I might do another video on this island another day, but that's going to be it for this island. Ooh, hello. So now I'm going to go back to my island so that I can show you what you need to do to upgrade. So I'll meet you guys there. Okay, so here we are on my island, and I'm going to put my inferno away. I'll take out Rosie. So, what you're gonna wanna do to upgrade your market to be able to sell a horse in a horse stall like that is you'll go up here to edit. And once you click edit, see how the bubbles are coming out of this? You can actually click edit market and upgrade. My next upgrade is gonna cost 60,000 tokens and it's just gonna give me one more horse stall. So I'm not gonna do that right now. Um, so, just to fill you guys in on what happened yesterday, um, this horse that I'm riding is a rose gray Appaloosa, and you can only get it from Training Island. So, there's a specific way that you can obtain it. However, this girl was giving it away for free. You heard that right, free. And I love Appaloosas, so I was super grateful that I was able to get this horse. Um, so I'm going to take you guys to Training Island and show you how you can obtain this horse or this horse. So this is the horse that I got from this process that I'm about to show you. The rose gray horse I got for free from somebody, but they got this rose gray horse the same way. So we're going to head over to Training Island and I'll show you what to do. Okay, we are here on Training Island. So, on Training Island, this is where you can train up your horses to gain more endurance, speed, jump, etc. So you're going to talk to Stephanie. <clears throat> what you're going to do is have Stephanie give you a task. Which activity should I do? So she wants us to do the pole bending training activity seven times. And then she'll give us some training receipts and then you can give them to Steven for a special reward. Okay, be back soon. So on this island, she is the quest like person on Training Island. On this island, she's only gonna give you quests that have to do with training your horse. So we're gonna do the pole bending activity seven times and then you will go back and talk to her after you complete the pole bending activity. 
So you can go into this enclosed barn or the outdoor arena. And Okay, so we have completed the pole bending activity seven times. I got a paycheck. We're gonna stop doing the activity and go talk to Stephanie. Once you talk to Stephanie, she's gonna give us more training receipts. You get training receipts for doing the pole bending activity, but she is giving us 13 more. So, Oh my goodness. I have 91 receipts. Once I have 100 receipts, I can take those 100 receipts to Steven and he will give you something special. So what he gives you can vary. He can give you golden apples, which give you 50% relation, or sorry, 50 relationship points with your horse. He can give you a rose gray horse, just like this one that I'm riding, or he can give you the Palomino reverse dapple horse, which is what I got actually from my training tickets. So with my training receipts, I gave him, I think it was at like 5,200, I got this horse and I kept giving him receipts because I really wanted to get the rose gray, but I wasn't able to. Um, and then this girl in the server yesterday was like giving it away for free. So I was lucky enough to get that rose gray horse Appaloosa for free. And I earned this one. So you just got to keep training your horse, get those training receipts, give them to Steven. And that's how you're going to be able to get either this coat or the rose gray coat. And the breed varies know what breed of horse you're going to get the coat on. But I think that's all I have for y'all today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.